The aim of this video is to show how I can navigate around my hard drive with a keyboard while saving a file. Here, I have a blog post from Daily Dose of Excel that I want to preserve as it is relevant to an Excel VBA tool that I am working on. I found that what works best for me in most cases, especially with blog posts, is to save them as PDFs. The nice thing about that is that the PDF contains a timestamp and also the website URL. However, Earlier I saved another page from another site at a different folder, as you can see in the text of my blog post. So I have to navigate a bit to get to the folder where I want to save this post. Well, here goes. I first press Ctrl P to open the print dialog, then enter to save the PDF, since save is the default button here. Then I type period period backslash period period backslash to get two levels up. Then I start typing the folder names that I want and from the resulting list that Windows Explorer gives me, I can select the appropriate one by moving up or down with the arrow keys. To get to the next subfolder, I just type a backslash and then start typing the next subfolder. Then I keep doing that until I get to the folder that I want. Note that here, I accidentally typed VB, thinking that the folder's name was VBA, instead of macros. No problem, I don't even have to delete the whole thing as it is suggested here. I can use the up arrow until I get back to just the VB that I typed and then I just backspace those two characters and start typing MA and then select macros from the list. Now when I have reached the final location where I want to save the file, it might seem as if I have another problem. I don't have the file name anymore because I overtyped it with the folder names. But all I do is press enter and Windows Explorer takes me to the specified folder and also gives me back the original file name. Now I just press enter to save. And there you have it. 